Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys. In love, if it resonates for you, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The extended for November, How Does Your Person Feel? is up on Vimeo. Check it out if you're interested. I do have my tarot oracle decks on Etsy, so check it out. If you want to um, buy one of my decks, okay? I also offer personal readings if you're interested. So let's jump right in, Cancer. This is your reading. What messages do we have for my Cancers out there? All right, Cancer. The challenge that you're facing in love right now. What is the challenge for Cancer in love? What is the challenge that Cancer is facing? The Ace of Swords, okay? So Cancer, we're starting off your reading with you wanting to know the truth. Some of you guys are wanting to become clear on a matter. There could be something here you feel someone is holding from you. They kept a secret. They weren't being honest, okay? Some of you guys, you want communication from a person. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. So your challenge is to get clarity on a matter, to get truth, and to maybe even get communication, okay? So the current energy, Cancer, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The world in reverse and a queen of wands. I feel like there's someone cancer that you're very passionate about. There's definitely someone here you really care about. But I feel like this is someone who may not show you that they care about you. There may be a situation where there's unequal give and take. Where they haven't been showing you attention. They haven't desired you enough. They haven't been taking action towards you enough. The challenge is to get this person to show you. To take action. To be available. And I feel like there's a situation where there wasn't balance. Okay, You felt you, may, you were giving a little bit more than this person. Um, with the world in verse is telling me that something here has to change, okay? The way that this connection was going, mm -mm, it's, it has to change, okay? Because something here may have not been fair, all right? So there may have been a lot of challenges in this connection. You could have been dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In a recent past can, so we have the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like in a recent past, Cancer, there was a lot of miscommunication with someone here. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this is someone who may have not been honest, okay? Because I feel like there was some kind of missed opportunity with this person. Maybe you stopped communicating with them. Maybe someone ghosted you, blocked you, or, you know, I'm getting someone got upset and you guys had a fallen out, okay? I feel like someone here wants your attention. A recent past is telling me that maybe they want attention from other people. You didn't like that. But there definitely was some kind of missed opportunity someone felt as if they weren't appreciated okay so this could have been you now what's on your mind cancer the page of wands the eight of swords in reverse and the lovers a lot of you guys um you want to move in a different direction a page of wands a lot of you guys are inspired to have some kind of change in your life right if something here hasn't worked out for you regarding love with a particular individual it's kind of like okay well what do i have to do to move forward a lot of you guys are trying to release yourself from some kind of stressful situation or someone here that you've been in your head constantly thinking a lot about the eight of swords in reverse i see you letting it go cancer okay now on your mind is still Still wanting a very strong connection with someone a lot of you guys you want to feel wanted you want to feel loved you want to feel appreciated some of you guys you may be connecting with a Gemini they could be a really strong soulmate coming in for you others of you guys you're working on cutting ties with a soulmate from the past that who's uh, who may have brought you a lot of stress right the eight of swords in birth so take it how it resonates let's see what's coming in Oop, seven of cups, um, three of cups in reverse. Um, I mean, in the foundation, right? This is what's in the foundation, what you may not see that may be coming in for you. Um, we have the seven of pentacles and why this is happening, the ace of pentacles. So what I'm seeing is that there's definitely something secure that could be coming in for you, Cancer. I don't think you're aware of this. I see a new beginning. I see a promise. I see something that has great potential for long-term stability, okay? This could be a new relationship that a lot of you guys are getting in. I also see that there's someone here that 
maybe thinking about coming into union with you. Maybe there's been some kind of falling out with the person here because someone here had options or someone was just very um, unsure about what they wanted. They may have brought a lot of confusion, a lot of complication. I feel like Cancer, there's a decision you're having to make or there could be someone who you're going to be doing a lot of thinking about if you want to invest in a situation with them or not because I feel like there's an opportunity coming to you. I don't know if it's from this particular person, but it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's definitely an opportunity to invest in and I feel like a lot of you guys are having to find out the truth, get some clarity on a matter before you move forward with this opportunity, okay? Because I do feel the Seven of Pentacles is that you're doing a lot of thinking about it or someone is doing a lot of thinking about you, okay? Now, let me see what the outcome looks like. The outcome for you, Cancer, is a Ten of Wands, a Reverse, and a Four of Swords. So coming into the near future, Cancer, I do feel like you guys are going to be dropping big, big burdens, things that you've been carrying from the past, emotional burdens that may have been creating blockages in your love life. I also see, Cancer, that you're going to be really striving to um, find... Find peace of mind with regard to a situation that has brought a lot of stress to your life. The Four of Swords, I also see you guys maybe taking time, resting, regrouping, spending more time with yourself because I feel like there's a lot of healing taking place with the Four of Swords, okay? So let's jump in and get some more messages, all right? So let me clarify the Ace of Swords. Give me clarity, Ace of Swords. A lot of you guys are challenged just for you to find answers, get clarity on the matter. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords clarified by the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. So Cancer is telling me that in order for you to move forward in some new direction with the Ace of Wands, you have to become more clear on something that you may not have known. It could be something that was hidden from you. And that is going to determine which way you go or if this is something you want to partake in, right? You want to invest in. You want to put energy into. Because the Two of Pentacles, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. Um, some of you guys are questioning if an opportunity is going to bring you stability or security or some kind of commitment because I see you going back and forth about it. You may have to weigh your options, the pros and cons, and find out as much information that is going to help you make a decision, okay? Now, the current energy is the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse? We have the Four of Wands and the Strength card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. I feel like there's a situation here regarding a home situation. Some of you guys, you may be married to this person. You live with this person. could have had children with them. I feel like right now, um, Karen, so there's a situation here where you're really trying to do what you have to do to protect um, your overall stability. Find balance in your life, right? Be in alignment with your higher self. Um, a lot of you guys are focused on just um, balance, okay? Restoring balance and peace in your life. And that four wands is about that, okay? Um, I also see a lot of you guys are having to take a step back from a situation here with the strength and verse, maybe even give up on it in order to get that four wands, in order to get that stability, security, that peace of mind. Because I feel like a lot of you guys, you are over investing in a situation that has um, compromised your happiness. All right. Let me find out what the, uh, let me find what the queen of wands is. Some of you guys are done with a fire sign. Queen of Wands is clarified by the King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is that same person. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of you guys are determining if you want to move forward with this person because there's a lack of clarity. Maybe you guys haven't talked to this person in a really long time. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you may feel this person doesn't care because they've never reached out or they stopped reaching out. They have not done anything since some kind of breakup or some kind of ending between you and them. And so um, there's something here about... Should I be the one to reach out? Do I make the initiative or should this person, you know? And a lot of you guys, you've been wanting this person to treat you better. You've been wanting this person to treat you more fair. So give me the recent past energy. Why is the four cups here? There was some kind of missed opportunity. Four cups is clarified by the knight of pentacles in reverse, the four pentacles and the ten of wands in reverse. Cancer, in the past, there definitely was an ending with the Ten of Wands. It was an ending that you didn't want to happen. I see that, Cancer, you were really trying your hardest to hold on to the situation as long as you could. That Four of Pentacles, you didn't want to give up on this situation. You wanted to hold on to it because you felt this connection was special. You felt it was valuable. You, you saw this person as an important person in your life. But I also see that there was no... Um, 
no action being taken toward building this connection or maybe something stopped working, someone stopped giving, someone stopped investing. The Knight of Pentacles in verse, I feel like something here was no longer moving. And I, I feel like you had to make a decision to perhaps um, let something go, okay? Because something got too difficult, it got too heavy, and it was almost like you were carrying a lot. I mean, I'm getting that you was, it was your responsibility to um, hold keep the connection afloat. You know what I mean? I feel like this person wasn't doing enough. Let me clarify the six of wands in the recent past. Six of wands is clarified by the ten of cups in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like a lot of you guys cancel. You were dealing with someone here who was all about themselves, all about their recognition, all about getting... Um, their accolades, um, being seen by other people. They wanted to be in a public's eye. I'm getting a big social media like whore. I'm getting this someone here who wanted to just be seen, be known by um, by everybody in the public, okay? That was really important to them, their image, right? The way other people viewed them. And I feel that as a result, Cancer, they didn't do enough to keep you happy. They didn't make you happy. You felt um, emotionally neglected. You felt um, drained from this person. And again, the Eight of Pentacles in verse, they were just not committed they were not um committed to really making this work and so i feel like there's someone here who there was a major disconnection with the king of swords in verse i don't feel like you guys even had great communication okay now some of you guys with the king of swords in verse they cut you out they cut you out on a moment's notice so let me see a lot of you guys can so you want to move in a new direction why is the page of wands here Page of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. A lot of you guys, you may be um, connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like there's someone that may have their eye on you or you had their your eye on them. I don't feel like you're moving toward this person just yet. I feel like you may be exploring a more passionate or um, getting a fun type of connection before you open up and be available to love right now, Cancer. But I do see love on the horizon for you. I also see someone coming in. And whoever this person's coming in, they're definitely offering something secure and stable. I do feel like this is someone that you can definitely grow with. But I don't think that you're ready to pursue this person in love. I'm getting more of um, you guys are ready for just fun and, you know, passion before you're ready for romance. Like an intimate connection. Eight of Swords in reverse. A lot of you guys are still overcoming something from the past that may have not worked. You're in your head about this. Eight of Swords, what's this about? Yeah, a lot of you guys, you're still in your head about a missed opportunity. Ace of Cups in reverse with the Four of Cups. You're still recovering, Cancer. It's telling me that you're still actively healing. You're accepting that something here did not work out for a reason. Something here did not um, manifest. You know, there was a beautiful opportunity. At least you thought it was. But the Ace of Cups in reverse is that it never came about. It never came together. It never worked. And there was some kind of missed opportunity for Cups. You are definitely still on your emotions about this, Cancer. It's still affecting you because a lot of you guys, there was a really strong connection with the lovers. But I also feel like there was a decision that had to be made. Why is the lovers card here? Yeah, a lot of you guys just tell me as much as you wanted to fight for this connection, the judgment card came out in the verse with the five of wands. You wanted to fight for this connection, but you also felt like you had to make a decision. Some of you guys, you made a decision to perhaps go in a different direction. Um, I feel like this decision that you made was really difficult and it's something that you still think about and maybe you are, you know, contemplating if that was the best decision, but I think it was the best decision given the, the situation you were in, okay? But a lot of you guys, you're still going back on this decision because you feel like, well, this was my person. This was my soulmate. I should be fighting for the connection, not just giving up, right? Um, but let me find out what's going on in the foundation. We have the Seven of Cups. Why is this person in the Seven of Cups energy? Seven of Cups clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles in verse. I feel like your person is very confused as to why they do the things that they do. Because this is someone who's realizing that they had a lot of stability and security with you. Ten of Pentacles, there was a lot of growth. There was a future. I'm getting you guys talked about having a home together, having children together, um, you know, doing all those adult things, right? Coming together and really building a future. However, your person did not offer that commitment there's something here where they weren't ready to commit they were um there was an idea that they were going to but they never did and they're thinking uh, about why they make things so confusing they're thinking about why they make something so unnecessarily complicated now let me get clarity on the three of cups here I feel like someone is doing a lot of thinking about you but maybe also had some uh, third party that they were dealing with that may have interfered the Justice in Reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. 
I feel like your person was very distracted. I feel like definitely they weren't ready because this is someone who may have had a third party, okay, um, that they were still involved with, which is why they came in and out of your life cancer, okay, the Knight of Wands. I'm getting that they were in, you know, and then they leave. They're very passionate about you, but they weren't really taking real action towards you. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you allow this person to come in and out of your life on a moment's notice, okay? It was like... You accepted it and this person felt it was okay. I also feel with the justice in verse, okay, it was not okay because there was a lot of injustices here. There was a lot of double standards. This person didn't treat you fairly and they didn't make you a priority, okay? Now, I also feel like this is someone who's thinking about their life, thinking about the changes that they need to make, thinking about their future. The Ace of Pentacles is here. What's this Ace of Pentacles here for Cancer? The Hierophant. The Empress in reverse with the High Priestess. A lot of you guys, you have a secret lover. You have someone who's secretly um, desiring you, have feelings for you. The Empress came out in reverse. I feel like this is someone who definitely sees you, Cancer, as loving, as desiring of real love, but they may have not been able to give it to you. I'm getting that they weren't ready to nurture you or nurture the connection. But there's a lot of secrets here regarding this person. I'm getting they're not really open with how they feel for you, but there's definitely a commitment on the horizon. You could be done with a Pisces or it could be a Taurus. Someone is wanting to offer a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is something very promising. This could be a new person or this could be an old person, but I do feel like there's a secret lover here. There's a secret person here who has not been able to give you what you needed, but they certainly look at you as someone who deserves much more than what you have right now, okay? And they definitely see you as very promising. They want some kind of commitment with you. So let me see what you have to know coming into the near future. I think a lot of you guys can, so you are focusing on your healing, you're recovering. There's some kind of heart matter here. Maybe you guys are healing from a heartbreak and you're overcoming a really difficult challenge here what is this ten of wands about for cancer the moon the page of swords in reverse and the nine of wands i feel a lot of you guys while you're in recovery i do feel like someone will keep their eye on you someone had definitely um plans to continue to watch you from afar maybe you guys are aware of this it could be someone who's like stalking you on social media but the moon card cancer i really think this is about you right the moon talks about you know it could be fears and insecurities it can talk about emotions and i think that's kind of what you're um moving forward you're, you're moving past some kind of emotional burden some situation right um i do feel the nine of wands here i do feel someone here will eventually come to you and make it clear that they still want to fight for this but i think that your priority right now cancer is really just focusing on you um you know really trying to overcome something here that brought a lot of stress to you and also healing right and and we also have again a decision right once you guys are at a point where you're fully healed and recovered from something there may be a situation you have to assess um because i see a new beginning wanting to come in for you although you're not ready yet but before you move forward with that new beginning um spirit is saying really find out all the facts find out the truth find out as much information as you can and also be honest with yourself the ace of swords is about being honest with yourself are you ready for this opportunity right um can you trust this opportunity can you trust this person all right so ask those questions so cancer that's what i have for you guys your extended bonus reading for november how does your person feel whoever you're thinking about dealing with it is up on vimeo the link will be in the description box all right you guys cancer have a great remainder of your week bye